Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. I'm Adam from AllStreamedUp.com and this is my DJI Air 3. In this video I will show you how to create custom waypoints on a computer and load the KMZ file onto your DJI RC2 so that you can create more complex waypoint missions easily and quickly at home and load them onto your drone without even taking off. Okay guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to a website called waypointmap.com and as you can see um, they've got some videos on their homepage and essentially by creating your own cams the you can accomplish things uh, such as creating an ortho mosaic uh, image uh, or uh, even a 3d model um, again, you can do this in the field, but this is just going to help you uh, create some more advanced stuff. As you can see in this picture down at the bottom here, um, this guy has loaded in 162 waypoints. So just imagine the scope of effort that that's going to be on that little screen on your controller. Or if you have an N1 or N2 controller, you know, using your phone, uh, same thing is going to be very difficult to create and manage all these waypoints. So this is going to help you out, guys. So you got to uh, log in. Uh, it is free, limited uh, free, but once you log in, um, you're going to see, you're just going to want to create a new waypoint flight, okay? And as you might imagine, um, this is a map-based tool, okay, guys? So just, you know, Go anywhere on the map, and you have to use the command button on a Mac to scroll. I'm on Vancouver Island, so let's just why not pick somewhere on Vancouver Island. Not that important what we're going to look at today. So um, now I know there's a lot of airports where I'm, I'm going right now, so uh, probably not even a good idea to fly here, but this is just an example. So I don't know. Let's pick this neighborhood. We just want to, you know, some developer has hired us to do um, an ortho mosaic map of this area here. Let's just pretend. So it's got some tools. So up at the top, there's not a lot of tools. It's pretty basic. So I'm just going to pick a polygon tool. Uh, and I will just draw a polygon really roughly around this area with the polygon tools, kind of like using Google Earth, guys. You're essentially um, just creating some information on that CAMZ file. Now, once you have your shape, you click on the hand. You can manipulate it a bit. Uh, but if you click in the middle, it's going to give you the option to generate waypoints. So now you click on that, and hey, you notice, look at that. I got a bunch of waypoints. Now, you can go into each one of these and do an edit, such as altitude, gimbal angle, heading, and what you want it to do when it gets to that mark. Um, I'm not going to go in and do like a complicated edit on this. I'm just showing you how to load that KMZ. And you can mess around with your own uh, as you like. And again, when you're on in the field, you can just set your drone up to just hit record on the video and just fly this mission or you could set it to take a photo every three seconds and you it would come back with like a ton of uh, photos so you know you you got to work with uh, a lot of data when you're doing this kind of stuff so keep that in mind it should show you as well somewhere here uh, where what the length of this flight is going to be so the total distance of this flight is 2400 meters Going to take a total of 16 minutes, which on the Air 3 might be doable. Um, a 60-minute battery life is going to get pretty limited with like a, a mini drone. But uh, either way, guys, let's just go through the process. So I'm going to download this CAMZ file. Okay, and now I have the file. And you can see that the file is called... There it is, output one CAMZ, guys. Okay, so this is the file that you're going to want to load on your drone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load this into a Dropbox folder that I have. Okay, so I'm just going to put the file in the Dropbox folder. So that file's in the Dropbox now. And so if you're on a PC, um, this step's really easy. You're going to want to go to this web page back on Waypoint Map, and you're going to want to download the CAMZ installer. 
and then you simply plug in your RC2 and browse for the file and click a button and it will load it on. We'll go through that very soon. But since I'm on a Mac, how am I going to do this? Well, I'm going to use Parallels Desktop, so let's get into that. All right, guys, so here I am in Parallels Desktop for Mac, and I'm running Windows 10. Now you're going to want to get your file from your Dropbox and put it on your desktop or in a folder. You can see here that I have it in a folder on my desktop called KMZs. KMZs. I'm in Canada, so KMZs. Um, there it is right there, output one dot KMZ. Now, it's important to remember one thing. Th what this is going to do, it's going to load this KMZ and overwrite your most recent waypoint file. So, a good idea what I do is I just create a brand new one using just my controller and because I don't want to overwrite something that I may have done. For example, my most current waypoint file right now is a day to night transition shot that I want to do. And so I did the daytime shot and I saved my waypoint file and I need to go out again at night and capture the nighttime, which I haven't done yet. So I don't want to overwrite that file. So I'm just going to show you how to do that on RC2. Let's have a look. Okay, so here I've got my RC2. My drone isn't turned on, um, and I'll, it's easy to do without turning on your drone. You don't even have to lift off. So on your RC2, click on Connection Guide at the bottom right, and then click Camera View in the top right. And so that's going to bring up the screen, and in order, so click on the waypoint on the, on the left in the middle there, and if I hit the C1 button, it's going to give me an error saying aircraft is not in flight. So the workaround is just swipe over to your map and then bring up the map. And it doesn't really matter what you do here because you will be overwriting this file. So I don't remember exactly where I put that spot. It was somewhere in Parksville. But right now it doesn't matter. So, oh, oh, you know, I just double tapped on the map. So there it made one waypoint file. So I'll just double tap again. Actually, I think it's a single tap. All right, there's another one. It's uh, a very long waypoint, uh, which is never going to happen in real life, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to click uh, save. Okay, save that waypoint file. So that should be done. And now I'm going to click off of the waypoints and it's going to give me the prompt and I'm going to save and exit. So let's just go back and double check that it's there. Okay, there it is. It was made on 0803, which is to the date. So that's my saved WAV file. So let's get on it. All right, now back in Windows 10, um, I'm going to plug in my RC2 on a U uh, USB to my, my Mac. So now what you will see is a little message come up on your windows uh, that your RC2 is uh, recognized. And you'll see it on your Windows browser there. Now that convoluted method I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, you can go through and browse this file system and find that waypoint. But I, and you can load it manually, but I, I won't um, go over that process because this is easy, guys. You just use this app from the website uh, waypointmap.com, you download it, and then it's going to recognize your RC2 as soon as you plug it in. So there it is. Now you select your KMZ file. This is the file here, and click on open. This is kind of important because it doesn't really tell you very much, so you have to keep an eye on it. So once you hit click, once you click save, keep your eye on it, and the circle will start to spin. And after a few seconds, you will see a message that it successfully installed the KMZ file. So let's go ahead on RC2 and double check that it's there. So once again, I'm going to go to the connection guide, uh, camera view. I'm going to go load the waypoints up. Press on the file browser here. So there it is. And as you can see, 
There are 33 waypoints in here. And I can go ahead now and fly this mission. Okay, so in order to double check your flight that you flew your waypoint mission with when you get home, um, I highly recommend airdata.com. Anybody who flies a drone, especially a DJI, um, should definitely be using air data. It will track all your flight logs and also will even give you a cam Z of your flight log. So let's uh, check that out. Okay guys, so my flight log uh, for July 31st when I flew my very first waypoint that I set up with waypointmap.com. Here it is. Um, you can see the lines and you can download your KML right here. Okay, so here we are in Google Earth Pro. Um, and as you can see over on the left, I've imported this KML file. And these yellow lines are the flight. And so it's pretty cool because you can see it in three dimensions and uh, check out your flight path. Yep, so there it is from above and below, looking pretty good. So one thing that I didn't really expect was the drone kind of flew around in a circular manner. Um, and I was kind of more expecting it to do like a lawnmower kind of path. Um, but I think on waypointmap.com, you can set that up once you pay for premium. And this was my first flight. So I got to get out there and practice more. I was able to load this the, the photos into the Ortho Mosaics and the 3D model creator. Uh, both were successful, however, it's fairly limited for free, and um, I was I made some mistakes that I can improve on later. All right, so there it is: how to create and load your very own custom Waypoint KMZ files onto your DJI RC2. If you like this video, please click thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel because I will be del delivering more tips, tricks, and solutions for your drone and all sorts of other software solutions. Thanks again and see you next time.